Hey everybody, Ronald here. Thanks for tuning in to Kerbal Space Program episode 16. So I have a flight in progress here. So let me go fly this. And I will quickly recap some of the flight details. Uh, so here we are, Valentina and Bob. Uh, what I'm trying to fulfill here is a bunch of the MUN missions here. So plant flag on MUN, space from around MUN, space from surface of MUN, orbital station, uh, in orbit of MUN, um, rescue Tansby from orbit of, of MUN, uh, bring green, no, 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 not that. Um, maybe uh, gather surface deployed mystery goo on MUN. So all the ones that I have not minimized. So there's a lot of missions at once. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's get to the MUN. I'm going to turn off some of these extra overlays. So Tansby here is in a tilted uh, orbit around the MUN. Let's get my space station in place. Uh, so what we need for that is a MUN transfer. So let's set it as a target. So I have a moving target here. I'm going to want to do a minimum burn because one of the space station requirements is that I have a certain amount of fuel. Um, so the less of a burn I can do, the better. So here is a 850 Delta V burn. Uh, that should be that should be sufficient. Okay, great. Uh, let's get aimed at the uh, the maneuver node and burn away. So I am planning on putting this thing into orbit first, and then trying to rescue Tansby um, because I need a certain amount of fuel for the orbiting uh, mission, and then of course it's will detach the antenna and extra weight and then go rescue Tansby. It's not really going to be a permanent uh, space station because it doesn't have power generation. It just has one big antenna. Um, why I built it like that, uh, let's blame the fact that I did it in haste. A lot of people in their comments were like, I hope you weren't too hasty. Uh, maybe I was, but you know, that's the beauty of Kerbal Space Program. You can't plan for every possible outcome. Uh, and then additionally, I had a comment about the landing legs here. Uh, so the first phase that I ditch out does have one of my landing legs. So I have to be careful about staging. Uh, Turtle Sandwich and others were the ones to mention that. Okay, I'm going to miss my burn window if I keep yammering. So let me go and burn. And I need to make sure that my liquid fuel stays above 4K as that is the requirement for the space station. Uh, I might not actually be able to do that this episode. We'll see if I conserve liquid fuel. Let's just say that um, um, I've got butterflies in my stomach seeing if I hit the liquid fuel requirements. Whoa. Okay, so I have about a thousand liquid fuel to spare. And I overburned a little bit. Actually, let me fix this. I overburned a little bit, which puts me into collision with Mun. I'm going to do a 2 delta V correction and not collide with the Mun. Uh, Tansby's altitude is about 200k. So let me actually do a correction that has me burning a little bit more and put my periaps roughly at the same altitude just so that it will be easier to do an eventual uh, rescue. Okay, so I have a slightly higher altitude because if I, I don't want to match his speed. If I match his speed, it will be really, really challenging to, um, or match his altitude, it will be challenging to do an intercept. All right, and maneuver over to the next maneuver. Warp to magnet, oh, come on. Let's use time warp to stop the uh, the tilt. 
And this will just be a micro burn. That's probably enough. Okay, 215, that's perfect. Let's warp. So I have 1,064 liquid fuel left to burn until the uh, mission of a orbital station around the moon is not attainable. So fingers crossed, I have enough. Okay. My next maneuver, let's stop this, uh, is going to be here. Just to do the bare minimum circularization. Yeah, I'm going to have enough fuel. So the bare minimum circularization only requires about 90 delta V. I have that in spades. So let's warp to next maneuver. And circularize for the, uh, the moon mission. Done. All right, so 4.7K liquid fuel. All I got to do is maintain stability here for 10 seconds, which means not flopping about like I am. <laughs> Let me just take off SAS. And there we go. Build orbital station around the moon is completed. The contract nets me nice monies. Uh, okay, so Mr. Orbital Station. Let's see what's going on here. I have... A decoupler that I'm going to use. Uh, it does ditch a lot of the fuel that I had back here. Uh, but this was heavy and cumbersome. Uh, I have 4K Delta V to do the rescue of Tansby. And then, um, yes. Let me see what went wrong with this staging. I think the staging is right. I just need to correct this. Let me see if that's true. Oop, that's my parachute. Also, if we could stop flopping, let's point retrograde. I think my uh, asparagus staged fuel is. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So I put the I put the landing legs on the wrong. Um, on the wrong stages here and that's 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 my sloppiness uh okay so what i need to do is correct that so let's take a look it's kind of hard i know it's dark so i apologize but the first stage i need to ditch is this one and then this one and then this one all right and uh, I have 4.8K Delta V. So even then, my staging was incorrect, it seems. Okay, so I need to intercept Tansby here. Uh, so the first thing to do is to correct my tilt to match Tansby. So at this ascension node here, I will do a correction. Uh, what I'm also going to need to do is to shrink my um, my orbit a little bit. All right, so this will get me um, aligned. It's very small burn here. It doesn't, it's not gonna cost me much. Um, what about solar panels? Extend and extend. I actually designed it so that they shouldn't interrupt at all. I think what this was the hotkey of nine. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get warping to next maneuver here. We've completed the orbital station mission, so let's collapse that. We need science data from the surface and space around the moon. Um, I did actually have a well. Let me first do this burn, and then I had a question: Are the deployables deployable in space? I don't think they are, but I actually haven't tested that myself. And I can test that, satisfy that curiosity. Oh, you know what? I, um, there we go. Need to actually turn my, uh, engines on. That looks pretty good. We're 
almost perfectly aligned. Let's do a micro adjustment here. Um, what well, I want point three. Oh, uh, negative point three. What is the difference? Uh, negative two meters per second. I'm trying to math this in. Okay, negative. Uh, so I'm one meter per second off here. That's not much. Warping the next maneuver. And then this puts me on the same plane as Tansby for a rescue. I originally had thought that he was on a nice equatorial um, um, orbit, but that's not the case, which makes it more fun. It's a little bit more complicated to rescue him now. Okay, so we are on the same plane. So if you zoom out, as you can see, the blue and the green lines overlap. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do... Oh, that's weird. Uh, yeah, this other ship here is not so much a ship. Uh, let's see, switch to, this is just my, um, my pseudo station, which is uncontrollable, doesn't have a probe core or anything. Uh, so I can't even rename this, I don't think. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, uh, back out here and let's switch back to my rescue ship. It's just going to be a little confusing because I had, they they have like identical names and all that. Oh, righty. So the first question I had is, let's open these up. Valentina, let's do a little bit of spacewalk. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to retract these solar power panels. I don't want Valentina actually bumping into one. There we go. Because I'm working in... It's weird to be in space and still consider it like a confined space. Because... It is a little bit of a confined space here. Alright, Miss Valentina. All I gotta do is find one of these storage containers, photovoltaic panel, plop it in your inventory. And yeah, I don't have the deploy button here. I can't deploy it in space. That's exactly what I expected. But, um, uh, but now we know for certain. Alright, put that thing back. And let's do a little EVA report out here. Or actually, I, I need to get science from around the um, the surface or around space around the MUN. An EVA report is a little bit of science, but I could do better. I have a lot of redundant science objects on my ship, so I will grab like a, a temperature scan or something. Because EVA reports can be uh, overwritten, and I, I wouldn't want to accidentally overwrite it. So let's use this thermometer here. And it won't yield any science, but it will complete that contract. All right, so we have now the uh, scientific data from around the space around the moon done. So let's collapse that one. Now let's rescue uh, Tansby. So Tansby's here, and what I need to do is to add a maneuver to do some sort of um, intercept. So this burn here puts me at a one kilometer um, separation. That's great because that does that costs 15 delta V. That's pretty cheap. So I'm trying to conserve due to the fact that I put the landing gear on the wrong stage. I'm trying to conserve fuel as best as I can. But this will be a very easy Tansby rescue. I think. All right. And three kilometer separation, but that's totally fine. That's close enough. Let's warp to it. I really should go to my tracking station and get rid of this other RHD 13, which is really confusing. All right. So now uh, what I'm going to do is try to match the speed with the target and the trajectory. This will take about 260 Delta V. 
And what I'm trying to do is line up these two indicators here better than they're currently lined up. So now my separation is 0.6. Uh, let's warp a little closer. And then I'm going to have to um, do a big old burn here. Because basically, I can't fly by Tansby at 260 meters per second and expect him to somehow magically get rescued. That's just not how this works. Which means burning off some of my fuel. Um, why are some of these fuel tanks... Oh, okay. Yeah, they're paired up. Okay, I see. So I'm going to make sure my speed difference between these two targets is like less than 10. Eight's fine. All right. Uh, let's warp a little bit further for when we're really, really, really close to one another. Do I have a rendezvous mission? I have a rendezvous between Minmus, but that's not here. Uh, so I'm going to quickly go to my space center and see if there's any missions for a rendezvous at the MUN, because that's exactly what I'm doing right now, and I might as well get paid for it. Mission control. No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to my tracking station and get rid of the... Terminate this. This is not the one that is um, being used. What is this one? Oh, this is my... I probably need to rename that later. Right now, I gotta focus on the uh, rendezvous rescuing Tansby here. Okay, so let's go over to Tansby's ship. Now that we're close enough. Have Tansby kick out of said ship. And let go. And... My rescue craft is over here. So I'm just going to use my jetpacks to get there. Using the EVA suit to match the speed. Because I had a speed difference of 9 meters per second. The jetpacks, obviously, as you can tell, um, have enough thrust for 9. Did not Would not have enough thrust for like 280 or 260 or whatever I was at before. Alright, Mr. Tansby... Go ahead and grab and board. Tansby's rescued. Uh, so that contract is done. Now he's part of my permanent crew. What are you, Tansby? Oh, no. Uh, you are an engineer. Okay. I have a lot. Of, I've been rescuing a lot of engineers lately. Uh, now I need to display flags. And actually, I'm going to cheat. Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to open up the cheats menu here for biomes visible, making sure that I am landing on a novel biome. Um, so this here is a novel biome that I have not been to. So let's go and do that landing. So select... Uh, let's add a maneuver. Oh, no, don't warp here. I'm screwing this up. I'm fat finger and everything. Good. Uh, so let's go ahead and land in that crater there. Just doing a very rough sort of maneuver. Uh, I can actually probably stage out the asparagus stages and just ignore the landing gear and land on my terrier engines. That's uh, probably a better solution. You just ignore the fact that I have a landing gear. Let's call the landing gear like unnecessary redundancy. Um, because that's exactly what it's going to be. All right, warp to next maneuver. I need to plant a flag. Let me look at the missions that I need to do. I already did the space around the MUN, so I need scientific data, surface of MUN. I need to deploy the um, containers. Okay. And I'll plant a flag and all that good stuff. Let's go do the burn. Just to make sure, yeah, this tank is being drained first. It's always good to know 
that your maneuvers are, are your staging is accurate because you can always correct staging. So let's speed warp a little bit and do another maneuver. Landing again in that crater. Stage. Bye bye, landing gear. I am littering space right now, aren't I? But yeah, I have a lot of points of contact here. As long as I don't stage this stage here, um, this will very nicely balance on the MUN. Alright, uh, switching focus. Actually, before I go do that, tracking station. I'm going to get rid of Tansby's craft because I don't want to see it. Okay. So now if I look, space looks a little bit cleaner, as you can see, because I don't have Tansby's ugly craft that is... Uh, Pseudo crashing. All right, then the next thing I need to do is to calculate sort of suicide burn. So that's about 500 delta V suicide burn. That's fine. Warp to next maneuver. So I have a burn time of about a little over a minute. So when I'm about a minute from smashing into the MUN is when I'm going to want a suicide burn. So what I'm going to first do is get rid of my horizontal uh, velocity, so I only have vertical. Because now I'm um, positioned. Let's get rid of the, uh, the maneuver. That was just for my own knowledge. Uh, I'm now over this crater that I want to land in. And let's kill all the horizontal. Then aim prograde, or retrograde. Uh, I probably don't need the solar power panels because I have so much power storage, but uh, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Working on that suicide burn. This is not a suicide burn, mind you. A suicide burn would be burning at the last second. So absolutely got to remember not to use my landing gear, because my landing gear, I only have two arms and I'll tilt. And in fact, if I needed to stage out this stage, I could probably land on these two side rockets. It'd be a, a bit more of a balancing act, but not one that I'm incapable of doing. Let's hope I'm not landing in a really rocky... Oh, I'm landing in sort of in the center of this crater here. What is my... Uh, my thrust weight is 5 here. That's plenty. As long as it's above 1. That's enough. Now that I'm getting close, let's kill off uh, a lot of my... Extra... Velocity... Alright, I'm about a kilometer up. Terrier engines don't pack uh, that much of a punch, so you gotta be careful not to slam hard. Hundred meters down. All right, and I'll do a light burn to for the descent.
Okay. Let's hope we don't slide forever. We are going to slide forever, aren't we? We're in a very tilted spot. Oh, one of the engines sort of snagged. Okay, we are officially stationary. Good, 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 good. Um, let's go crew report. And let's start getting all the science that we can get from sitting here. So seismic data, the stationary, the installed goo container. Uh, that is the thermometer that I had gotten space from MUN. The space around the MUN, so I'm not going to, uh, to redo that. And if there's any... I'll get this side too. Sometimes experiments can be run more than once. Sometimes there's only science for one experiment. So like an EVA report here only is worth it once. I'm going to leave these bay doors open and uh, Bob, my scientist, is going to grab the the new little um, science project that I need to set up here. I figured that's that makes sense for a scientist to do. So I'm going to, not that this is a real thing, but I'm going to move far enough away from my vessel that the engine blast wouldn't destroy my project here. So let's go ahead and plant that. Um, take a surface sample, get an EVA report. I don't know how that's moving because it doesn't have power, but whatever. What crater am I in? I haven't even, I forgot to read. Cancel, uh, let's take that down. I am in the Mun Twin Craters. Okay, now that I know what to name this flag. Ta-da! Here I am. Mun Twin Craters. Black te text is first. Um, remote Science Base. It's not really a base, but whatever. I can... I can exaggerate a little bit. All right, and let's start setting this little goo project up. So here's the gooer that I need to power up. So we'll put the little goo container over here. Now, of course, uh, setting up a, a project inside of a creator is probably not a good idea for solar, a solar power paneled um, experiment because when you're in a creator, you obviously get less sun than if you're on a peak. But whatever. Uh, it's, not, it's not really going to play that much of a role. I'm just saying, in real life, you would not want to live in a creator if you rely on solar power panels because solar is not always available as a power source when you have mountains all around you. Oh my god, we are teeter-tottering here, aren't we? Let's not, let's not, uh, not look. <laughs> Pretend that that's not the case. Alright, so the solar voltaic... The photovoltaic panels I'll put above. So they're not blocked. I love how, like, gravity slowly affects them. And we'll set up all three. I only, I think, need two of three to run this, but we'll set up all three anyway. Let's increase the physics warp time. It looks like a Teletubby. Uh-oh. Physics warping is sliding my vessel away from me. And also not making these drop. Stop vessel. Okay, making sure these powered on. So this good container is producing about a quarter science per hour. And 
Now everything is power needed, power available. We are good. We are in business. And then the Communicatron should be able to transfer this stuff home. Uh, to note, I have not actually run one of these successfully yet. This is all very much new to me. I did read up about how to do this and did a little bit of experimentation. But uh, yeah, here we go. This is very cool. So Plant Flag on Mun is done. I need to recover the science from the surface. Let's make sure there's nothing else that I haven't done. Um... Rescue, I just need to return him back to Kerbin. And then the complex scan with the rover arm on the Munstone, I haven't done. Um, the Munstones can't be found everywhere anyway. So they're not probably not going to be found inside this crater. In fact, if I mouse wheel out, uh, the stones are rather large and obvious. I actually don't see really any points of interest around me. Um, you would need to rove around a while to find that kind of stuff. And then the last, let's see, the last but not least, gather surface deployed mystery goo observation science from the surface of the mun. So this needs to collect science a while, so this needs to run a while. Uh, which means my job is done here. Let's turn on the suit's flashlight. And gently reboard, close my bay doors, and blast off. I'm gonna retract my solar power panels. Not that there's atmosphere on the mun to damage the panels, it's just a personal choice. I'm actually going to stage these off while I blast because they're dead weight now. And that will leave... I don't actually have persistent debris enabled on uh, this playthrough. But normally, when you play, uh, persistent debris is a thing. You know, I never actually use this docking node. Uh, but since my struts are attached to it, I'm going to leave it in position. I picked a really, honestly, a bad time to blast uh, for for Corbin. In fact, I will aim my ship towards Corbin and start blasting towards it. Normally, I just create an orbit around the Mun and then do a transfer, but this time I'm going to not do that. I'm just going to actually start blasting for Corbin this way. I have a lot of fuel, so I'm not all that concerned. This kind of looks like a pod racer, doesn't it? If it was a little bit longer, maybe. But no Anakin anywhere to be found. And I'm about to have to stage again. Bye-bye, side. So I got 2K Delta V. I'm coming home. Soon I will break the sphere of influence of the Mun, although I'm in proper orbit now. There we go. That's not the most efficient way to get home. Obviously I just added velocity. So go me for doing it wrong. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and land. Uh, I think actually what I'll do is add a maneuver here and kill my periaps. And then 
um, we might be able to land closer to Kerbal Space Center. How am I doing for time? 35 minutes? That's okay. Whoa. This thing is very maneuverable now that I have very little weight and a giant reaction wheel. That's kind of cool. Operation Shrink the Periaps. Well, that's low enough for me. Add a maneuver here to circularize. I've got 1,700 Delta V left, and this burn will take 600 of that, leaving me with enough to deorbit. And as you can see, I'm kind of burning willy-nilly. Doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, I'm actually right over Kerbal Space Center right now. That's kind of funny. I don't even need that maneuver, do I? Just making sure I have enough fuel to... to not screw this up and end up in permanent orbit. So I want to be burning this way. All right, let's move to the periaps. Burn retrograde. All right, one K left. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, the next is my deorbiting burn, which will look something like this. We have to account both arrow braking and the uh, rotation of Kerbin in this maneuver. So this is approximately what it will look like, but not really. Not actually. It was a prediction. And not so good one either. Because it's actually going to look more like this. Add a maneuver here. Burn down like that. Okay, let's warp to that. Nope. I'm going to kick this out even more. Alright, let's warp to there. And now for our descent. Tray tables up, seats in their upright position, laptop stowed, and devices in airplane mode. Alright, so one thing I noticed is I'm not actually aiming at Kerbal Space Center perfectly. I'm going to need to maneuver a little bit to put me on the right trajectory. That's a result of not having a uh, flat, perfect, perfectly equatorial axis or any of that. Uh, now, let's see. Fast forwarding time. Yeah, I'm going to overshoot it, so let me just burn retrograde a bit. 
I always overshoot it, don't I? It's it's probably safer to overshoot it and go into the ocean from a role-playing standpoint than to do a, um, a hard touchdown on land. I am not great at predicting retrograde or to predict uh, arrow breaking. It's not my strong suit. Oops. Oh, it didn't hit me very hard. That's kind of funny. I've got it attached. Get off of me, stupid rocket. It didn't decouple properly. Well, I'm still fine. It, like... There it goes. Goodbye. Alright, drogue shoots. <laughs> That's funny. And real shoots. I'm not that far. I'm really close to the island airstrip. All of my beautiful science is intact. As are my, uh, my rescued Kerbals. And now we just safely drift and recover. How much Abler? Oh, I barely used my uh, heat shield at all. I'm not going to jettison it, though. Every part to be refunded. I even kept my nose cone all this time, even though I had a docking port underneath it. I was asked if um, you needed decoupler. Anything attached to the nose cone, you can just decouple um, like this. Because the, the decoupler... The docking port is also sort of a decoupler. And the flop. Oh, that was a very gentle flop. Center of mass is kind of lower here. All right, recover, and this should be a lot of science. Please. I want to unlock more parts. And, of course, accomplishing a whole lot of missions. So I have three contracts that just got completed. So 475-ish science. Parts were refunded at 96% for 30K. Uh, Tansby ready for redeployment. Bob, that was his first voyage out. These contracts that I completed uh, were science, science and rescue. Cool. So now if I look at mission control. Oh, this is available. I was like, wait, I just did that. Uh, so I need to go to Minmus. I need a rendezvous around Minmus. Um, a science station... A surface outpost, rather, on Mimis. Whoa, that supports 16 and has 6K liquid fuel. Ah, man, that's going to be tough. And then deploy goo observation at Mimis. I might not do all of that at once. Man, that surface uh, station with all that fuel is going to be one jumbo rocket. Uh, despite having just upgraded my R&D, I'm already almost up to a mil. Um, the next one I'm probably going to unlock is my VAB or my tracking station. Uh, ooh, I could do tracking station now. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, so my tracking station is now fully upgraded. What that allows you to do is to start tracking uh, unknown objects. I don't... Yep, here's an unknown object right here. So what these are is they are... Um, Asteroids that have entered or are on some sort of intercept with uh, Kerbin. So this one, for instance, gets within 290 million kilometers of Kerbin. And it is a Class E asteroid, which is the largest class. Uh, I'm going to stop tracking it, though. So this is a huge asteroid. Uh, asteroids can be mined and you can attach crafts to asteroids using um, grappling arms and you can actually move asteroids around so you could theoretically uh, put this class E asteroid into the orbit of Kerbin and then mine it for fuel um, is that um, is that likely to be helpful no because moving a class E asteroid they're massive, so it would take a massive amount of thrust to do it. 
Uh, right now, I'm just tracking my little deployed um, science station that I have near KSC. And as you can see, I have 1.6% uh, of the science completed. It is slow. The science right here is 25%, uh, whereas on... If I go back to my tracking station on the MUN, it was a science rate of, I think, 25%. So it will, it will work um, a lot faster. So here is, it's been eight days since I deployed this on MUN. So if I check, I've completed 8%. And once it's done, we'll send that home to complete uh, the other mission that I had going on. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode. Uh, let me know any feedback that you have. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you all next time. And next episode, maybe I will do the solar uh, space station. I think that's probably the best next one to do because that allows me to do some pretty cool scanning. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you all later. Adios.